guys? Oh, wait, I should practice my evil laugh. <laughs> Holy cannoli, Susan. You're worse at that than I am. Even Barbie here is shocked. Just look at her. Yup, she's not looking well, but she's 100% prepared for the makeover. And cut. Don't worry, Barbie. You'll look perfect. Be careful with the scissors, guys. I'd say she'd be evil perfect. <laughs> Susan, I still think my look isn't good enough. <laughs> Sorry, I can't imagine you as a villain. Guys, do you agree? Give us a thumbs up then. Yeah, I know. I'm too cute. Anyway, help me. You definitely know more about Cruella. Right now I'm pulling Barbie's hair out, Sammy. Maybe you'll make your own research? Oh, come on. Susan, I give my heart to you. I'm too busy. Now it's the makeup time. We'll remove the old one to recreate Cruella's look. All right. I'll do my best research and make you jealous of my knowledge. Ah. I'm sure he'll be back with awesome results, guys. Don't miss Sammy too much. In the meantime, let's draw our Barbie a new face. You just need colored pencils for it. I'm Sammy Deville. So I made a journey to the past! Really? How far did you go? My first stop was in 1956. Woo! What a long ride! Oh, this was Cruella's first appearance. And how was she back then? Absolutely terrifying! Even on paper! I didn't know that there was a book first, though! But her iconic look came to life five years later in the Disney animation film. And speaking about her looks, Sammy, I need to take some hair from your wig. Sammy? No, I have to say goodbye to it first! Then I'm gonna divide Cruella's hair into two parts. Like this. Susan, check this out! I grew up here, so you don't have to cut my wig! Uh, <gasps> Did it hurt? Not for a single moment! Your brains are just at another slimy level, as Cruella's hair is right now. No, no, she still looks like a Stella! Let's find her Cruella's charm! Right, maybe it'll help you feel her vibe for the audition. And we'll keep going, guys! Uh-oh, hide your animals! Cruella will be furious! Here comes another lock. We'll attach it like this, very carefully. What about Sam the stylist? We need him right now. Okay, I'm here. Here, take this for curling. Thanks, Sammy. Let me see what you got here. Mm hmm, looks great. We'll use the stitching hole to make the curly locks. Take a thin strand. Yep, that's right. Now wait for a few seconds. And leave it. Wow, what a curl. Ah, uh, you're so slow, Susan. Hurry up. We are done with the white locks, and now we'll get to the black ones. Hop. Remember to wait a little bit. This should be enough. Perfect. Cut her bangs, Sue! I'm already on it. Don't you see? Shiver me jitters! I'm speaking like Cruella! Remember that feeling? What was it like? Like I wanted more fur. And diamonds. So will I play her well? I think you're close. And our Estella Cruella is ready for the next stage. Next, we'll recreate an iconic outfit from the live-action movie! Susan, I don't think I look good in red. Trust me, the dress will be worth it. Let's use a paper template and cut out the pieces. Careful! Oh, Sue, cut it nicely, please! Come on! <laughs> and I thought you were worried about my poor fingers. Guys, be careful with the scissors. Just check this out! Someone's going to the ball tonight! Let's use some magic to sew it along the lines. And cut! It looks awesome! Holy cannoli! It looks like a weird puzzle! But something's missing! Here it is! Let's join all the pieces together! We'll place them on the right sides and… Whoosh! Awesome! Someday I'll open my own fashion house! Uh-oh, Cruella won't like this! That's uh, Sammy. It's too small. I better make my own outfit. If you insist. And I'm gonna make a skirt. It's gonna be a mermaid tail style. Wow! I like mermaids. Can I make a short video? I'll go check out the results. 
The skirt should have beautiful draping on the front. Let's try to recreate it using these pins. But be very careful here, or better ask an adult to help you out. Then she came to the ball, saw the Baroness, and conquered the place! Oopsie, wrong fashion! Guys, I've already sewn the front and the back parts of our skirt. Don't forget that we should make stitches from the inner side only. So, this is the skirt and the top. What do you think? No, 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 Susan! Corolla won't wear such a plain dress! Any additional thoughts, Mr. Designer the Great? Ugh, well, not really. Got it. Then today, I'll become the master of sewing! <laughs> Guys, join my sewing club! Or welcome to my designer's club! Sue, I will call you out for the battle! Oh no! Help me, guys! Your thumbs up will save my reputation! Fine! Guys, wait for the final version of the dress! Stay tuned! Holy cannoli! That dress is on fire! Huh? What are you talking about? I mean, it looks really awesome! Hmm, I think the top is too wide! Corella won't be pleased! But I have a solution! Huh, where is that thing? I saw it somewhere, I'm pretty sure. Here, take this, Sue! Wow, Sammy! A Velcro will fix the problem. We'll just split it into two parts and sew again. Hmm, uh-huh. Sue, she wants to try on that dress. She kinda doesn't believe in your skills. Then Cruella should know a bit of patience. The needle is very sharp, so we should work slowly and carefully. Mm. Yeah, Cruella might be up to something! Watch out, Sue! I don't think so. Anyway, she's not Maleficent. Susan, all villains know each other. It's a scientific fact! <laughs> Guys, don't worry. Science hasn't proved that yet. Cruella's mood is boosting up. She looks gorgeous in this dress! Holy cannoli! It's not enough! The dress must be on fire like in the movie! Plus, we need some magic! Huh? Hmm, that's not it. Ugh, much better! We need something special here! Now we're talking! A few sparkles might also come in handy! <laughs> it's good that I've prepared sunglasses! Bright lights mess up my slimy eyesight! <laughs> <laughs> Different kind of sparkle, Sammy! I got it! We'll just add some gemstones! Get ready to shine! Woohoo! <laughs> Oh, they look like real diamonds! Ta-da! Who is the best decorator in the world now, huh? <laughs> That's a score for you, Susan, but check these out! Oh, we'll need this! Edgy details for the skirt! There we go! Fabulous! Sue, is there anything else I can help with? Sure, you can take the red fabric and make gloves! I'm on it! And I will deal with the masquerade mask! We'll need some feathers, a bit of fabric, and some rhinestones! Let's see what we have here! Oh, guys, check this out! Did someone say masquerade? I made these gloves and added decor! Wow, Sammy! Phew! Final preparations! Oh, I'm so excited! But something is missing! Sammy? Shush, guys! I don't want to give up on this fur coat! Ugh. Cruella is ready for the ball! Let's take a look at her before she departs! The lady is waiting for you! Susan! I got an idea! I'll be a kind Cruella! Cool, huh? 
You'll become the star of the night. Don't worry, Pongo. You and your 101 puppies are safe. I wouldn't be so sure about this beauty, though. Guys, I'll keep my eye on Cruella. Do you like the doll's transformation, guys? Then give us a thumbs up for the tailor here. Pretty woman, walking down the street. Pretty woman. Hey, girl, you ready to change your look? We cut extra hair! Trendy coloring! <laughs> we need extreme measures here! Sammy, stop! Uh-oh! Sammy, what's going on here? Why do I smell something burning? <gasps> oh, it's your experiments again. Actually, I was creating a new hairstyle for Stacy. Using fire? Yep, I saw it yesterday on TV. They did the same thing. Sam, only super professionals can cut hair like that. Guys, be careful with fire. Don't repeat Sam's mistakes. Yeah, I didn't think about that. You can burn down the house that way. And, uh, Sammy, did you really like the result? Ah, uh, I guess I overdid it a little. We'll fix this, Sammy. I think we can turn this beauty into an LOL unicorn doll. <gasps> Let's go! Wow, I guess something interesting's coming! Hi, guys! To make a new hairdo for our Stacy, we will need almost nothing. Just a bunch of rolls of natural yarn and some standard tools. Sue, I wanted to call Fluffy. Have you seen... Oh, there's a hairbrush. Uh, what do you need it for? I'm gonna need it soon. And by the way, we're making a craft here. Whoa, Sue, what are you doing? We wanted to create a new hairstyle for Stacy, not make her bald. We'll make a new hair for our Stacy. Could you unwind a little bit of yarn with different colors? Sure. Will those be her new hair? Yes. But first, we need to get rid of the old ones. Guys, tell us about your favorite hairstyle. Comment below. These will be perfect braids. No, Sammy, these won't be braids. We'll make real smooth doll hair from the yarn, but don't rush. First, we mark the areas for each hair color. LOL Unicorn has colorful highlighting. Say what? <laughs> highlighting, Sam. It's one of the ways to dye hair. You're a hairdresser. You must know that. I'm still a rookie. Still, I can't know everything. We learn by doing. Just imagine, Sammy. French Queen Marie Antoinette had a hairdo almost a meter high. It's impossible! It's like two of your heads or even three! <laughs> yes, I guess it was a challenge for her to carry such weight. Moreover, such hairstyles served for months. And how did Marie Antoinette wash her hair? <laughs> she didn't. Ugh, the medieval people were weird. <laughs> Maybe they could say the same thing about us. We take baths a lot, cut our hair, and dye it in bright colors. <laughs> they would be shocked! <laughs> By the way, Sue, uh, why don't you color your hair purple? I'm pretty sure it'll look great on you. I promise to think about it, but first I'll finish with Stacy's hairstyle. Think of it, Sammy. Generally, hair color is chosen to match your eye color or skin tone. But I'm not just some more ordinary hairdresser, Susie. I'm Samuel Decorator Hands. <laughs> All right, I'll consider your idea, but honestly, I like pink more. Pink is out of fashion. Sam, when did you figure out what's trendy and what's not? Internet is a great thing. By the way, I found out that now the hottest haircuts are ones with bangs. And we'll make two ponytails and a bang for Stacy. Important thing, the yarn is quite thick, so we'll leave parts of her head empty. So, maybe we can leave these colorful braids? Maybe next time. Now we need to brush the yarn thoroughly. Sammy, please bring me a flat iron and a hairspray. Aye, aye, Captain Sue. <laughs> Call me Queen Sue. <laughs> Guys, and you don't forget to give a thumbs up and hit the bell button. Look, Sue! 
I'm already a pro in hairdresser tools, flat iron for straightening and hairspray for fixation. It's a huge process, and I need a little bit of craft magic. Poof! Oh, look, so magical. You know, I also decided to grow my hair. Oh, well, an interesting idea. What for? You can style hair into beautiful hairdos, and you know what in this? I am. Are you ready to wait for years? Hair grows very slowly. Huh, I call it back. I'll just keep this yarn wig, which looks awesome on me. It does suit you. You look almost like a rock star, and I'm almost done styling Stacy's hair. Guys, let's support Sam's transformations. Give a thumbs up. To make our Stacy look like the LOL unicorn, we need to dress her up in the same stylish way. First, a light tulle skirt. And bibbidi bobbidi boo! <laughs> Just look how elegant it is for a true Lady Stacy. Wow, Sue, you're like a real fairy godmother! I was thinking who I look like now and I realized it's Aquaman! He has the same long hair. <laughs> Sammy, that's so cool! Could you show me a bit more of your creativity? Cut out the top for Stacy, please. It's as easy peasy as eating a whole jar of m &Ms. Oh, that depends. I'd prefer a jar of fruit or vegetables. Guys, what would you eat as easily? A jar of fruit or a jar of candies? Comment below. You know, Sue, I have deja vu. It seems that all this already happened before. Oh, Sammy, I'm just done with the lower part of the outfit. <laughs> Do you know why we get that deja vu feeling? Well, scientists can't fully explain this phenomenon. Maybe it happens when our brain processes the impulses from our sense organs twice. First, not clearly, and then the way as if it already happened. Wow, Sue, the brain is a curious thing. And there's another theory that we simply dreamt about it before. This I can understand better. By the way, I found something. Oh, thanks, Sammy. So let's dress up our beauty. Now I'm satisfied. It's not just Stacy, it's LOL Stacy Unicorn. And just the accessories left. Sammy! Have you ever thought of becoming a jeweler? Making treasures from other treasures? Ha! I am the best jeweler in the world already! Oh, really? Well, I can make crafts from cardboard, craft foam, yarn. And what does that have to do with jewelry? You know what, Susie? Not all that glitters is gold. <laughs> you are totally right. Could you please make small jewelry flowers for the headband? Okay. <laughs> These ears remind me of Bambi. Comment below if you agree. Do these look like jewelry, Sue? <gasps> this is super fine work, Sammy. Ha! We only have to attach the flowers carefully to the headband. One, two, and three. And now, fashion show. Sammy, we need some dance music. Sue, now our station is absolutely magical. Shall we do the victory dance? <laughs> Guys, give a thumbs up for our amazing makeovers and subscribe to our unbelievable crafts. Woohoo! Don't forget to hit the bell button. This way you'll be the first to know about our new videos. Bye bye.